Welcome to my channel. This is Plant Based Storm, and I wanted to do a quick video today showing you some things that you can do to put in your freezer and help you ahead of time. I'm just cutting up three onions here, and I'm going to process them in the food processor. This is something that you can do to save time and money instead of buying the pre diced um, onions because I always use onions in almost every recipe that I make. I decide to go ahead and just chop these up and put them in the freezer, and I can pull them out whenever they're ready. One really cool thing. Thing that I'm using. These are super cubes and these are neat because they have the measurements marked right on the side. This particular one is quarter cup and a half cup and then this one is a uh, half cup and one cup and then I've got the one tablespoon and two tablespoons. They have lids that go on them, um, which makes it nice. And then you can see this is the larger one cup, two cup. For the onions, I'm gonna put it in the half cup measurements and freeze them in blocks. And then I'll just be able to pop those blocks out and use half cup or more, whatever measurement I need. Now, you don't have to freeze them this way. You can put them on a tray and pop them right into the freezer loose so that they don't stick together badly. And once they're frozen, just put them into a zip top bag like I'm using here. Now, these are reusable and they are freezer friendly. You cannot heat in these, but for freezing and things like taking lunches with you. They are excellent. You do hand wash them and I will link all of this information below if you're interested in any of these products because I think it's going to be really handy for this new freezer series. You can see that they come in all different sizes, gallon, quart, and snack, which is really handy because who knows what sizes we may need. So by the magic of YouTube, you can see that these are already frozen. I'm just going to pop these out and put them in the zip top bag like I was talking about. And then I will have these ready to go anytime that I need to use them for my recipe. I would not cut up more onion than you can use in three months because that's kind of like the time limit I find that onions taste best in is a three month time period. So that was that for the onions and I'm going to put that right into the freezer. So next I'm going to do a plant-based cream of mushroom soup so that I have that ready to go if I need it for any type of recipe. This video is all about basics. So I just used a cube of the onion and a shallot and I'm sauteing that till it's clear. And then here you see that I've got some mushrooms. This is two 16 ounce containers of baby Bellas. And I'm just gonna cut these up pretty finely with the food processor, but you can cut it up to any size you want. If you like bigger chunks of mushroom in there, that's fine. I just want it to resemble more of what you find in the cream of mushroom canned soup. So I'm going to let the water cook out of the mushrooms and just let it cook until all the water is almost gone. And once that happens, then you can add in four tablespoons of flour of your choice. This is a white unbleached. I usually use a oatmeal uh, flour, so do whatever you want. And then just let this cook to get that raw flour flavor cooked off um, and get it mixed in really well. And then we're going to add in four cups of low sodium broth and allow this to cook and thicken uh, a bit, about 10 to 15 minutes or so. Um, and then after it starts to thicken, I'm going to add in plant-based milk. Use any of your choice and just add it a little bit at a time and stir it in so that it can kind of temper the uh, heat because your soup is pretty hot and that milk is really cold. So just mix it in a little bit at a time. And then after we get that milk mixed in, I'm going to add in some cashew cream and that's just simply made with cashews and water blended up now you don't have to add this in but it does add a richness to your soup that you wouldn't otherwise have and it resembles more of a traditional cream of mushroom soup but if you are nut free or trying to watch the fat really tightly then you do not have to add that in there so then you just cook this for about another 10 or 15 minutes until it thickens up to where you want it and again I'm going to use my super cubes I will allow Allow them to cool and then put them in the freezer and once they're frozen pop them into a zip top bag like I did the onions and they will be ready to go whenever I need them for any recipe. I hope that you enjoyed this quick video of prep ahead um, basics. If you like what you saw please don't forget to share and subscribe and as always thanks so much for watching.